Hi, this is The Business Guy. So what is a quit claim deed? If you want to transfer ownership of property quickly and easily, a quit claim deed may be the proper way to do it. However, it is only suggested in certain situations. So we'll talk about what it is, how it compares to other deeds to transfer property, when to use it, and how to fill it out. And if you appreciate this information, please help me out by clicking the like button below so YouTube promotes this video. Many thanks. And if you haven't already, join our community by clicking the subscribe button below so that when more videos come out like this, you'll be up to date right away. A quit claim deed is a legal document that transfers any interest that a grantor has in the title of real estate to a grantee. Now in layman's terms, the grantor is the one who is transferring the property. The grantee is the new recipient. Now a quit claim deed does not guarantee that one has an interest in the property. So it's kind of like saying, I'm not saying that I have an interest in the property, but whatever interest I do have, I give to the grantee. Now if a grantor or current owner does have clear title to the property, free of title defects, then a quit claim deed will typically transfer the property. However, if the grantor lacks clear title to the property, then the quit claim deed may not effectively transfer the property. As a general guideline, you cannot convey more than you legally possess. That is, if you try to grant the full legal title to a piece of real estate to which you do not have clear title, the quit claim deed will not legally transfer the property. The most common use of quit claim deeds is in divorce cases. So one spouse or former spouse transfers whatever interest he or she has in his or her former personal residence to the other party. People also use them to transfer property to family members, to an LLC, or to a living trust. Now what if the recipient is not a family member or closely related person or entity? then in that case, the most common deed is the warranty deed or grant deed. Now, we often see people refer to the quit claim deed as a quit space claim deed or a quick claim deed. The one word version, quit claim, is the generally accepted standard. Now, we use this term because the grantor uses the document to quit his or her or their, in the case of a legal entity, claim to the property. In fact, one lady who used a quit claim deed in a divorce found a new husband. She said, he's the top salesman with his company. Look at the diamond ring he sold me. <laughs> quit claim deed recap. A quit claim deed conveys whatever interest one has in a property from one to another. The quit claim deed only conveys that which the grantor has. If the grantor does not have legal title to the property, the transfer will not convey more than the grantor possesses. Unlike a warranty deed, the quit claim deed does not provide a promise, assurance, or statement that the grantor is transferring clear title to the property. Let's talk about the quit claim deed compared to the warranty deed. Now, both deeds, a quit claim deed and a warranty deed, transfers interest in property from one party to another. However, the quit claim deed does not offer written guarantees that the grantor truly holds valid title to the property in question. Therefore, as we stated, the quit claim deed is usually used to transfer the title of property to family members, or after a divorce decree, the transfer to a former family member. It is also used to transfer title to an LLC or trust in which the grantor or former owners has an interest. If one transfers property to an unrelated party, Professionals rarely use quit claim deeds. In other words, the warranty deed offers more legal protection to the property recipient than does the quit claim deed. That is because the warranty deed offers assurances that the party transferring the property has the legal right to do so. A warranty deed promises that the one who transfers the property has legal title to the property and has the right to sell it. Included in the warranty deed are legal protections for the buyer. This includes reimbursement if the property has undisclosed title defects. So this type of deed gives assurances that there will not be any pre-existing mortgages or tax or creditor liens on the property upon transfer. You can also call or complete a free consultation form on our website. How to file a quit claim deed. So how do you file a quit claim deed? To record or file a quit claim deed, you first need to complete the document properly. You typically enter the name and address of the grantor. Again, the grantor is the one transferring the property. You also enter the name and address of the grantee. The grantee, again, is the new property recipient. In some states, you also may need to indicate if the property is the homestead or personal residence of the grantor. In many states, if you are the one transferring the property, your spouse also may need to sign the deed. This is the case even if your spouse is not on the title to the property. In other words, if you're married, in many states, as the old saying goes, it takes one to buy 
and two to sell. So the grantor and the grantor spouse, if applicable, sign the quit claim deed. And you do this and have your signature notarized by a licensed notary public. Finally, you will need to record the quit claim deed in the county recorder's office in the county where the property is located. Some jurisdictions call this office the recorder of deeds, deeds registry, clerk of courts, recorder's office, deeds office, county comptroller's office, or land registry office. You will typically pay a fee to the recorder's office to file the document. And this fee varies by jurisdiction. Common variances in fees may depend upon if the grantee is or is not a related party. If the property has a mortgage on it, the fee may be higher in some counties. The typical procedure is that you record the document and the recorder mails you the original. Alternatively, in many cases, you can or must record the document electronically instead of recording a physical copy. Now, it is a essential that you draft the quit claim deed in the proper format. The recorder may accept the document for filing even if you wrongly complete the document. So the recorder accepting and recording the document does not validate its authenticity. So what goes on the quit claim deed? Now it varies state to state and county to county. After all, there are 3,009 counties in the U.S. But here are some typical requirements for a quit claim deed. Number one, the grantor's name and address, the one transferring the property. The grantee's name and address, the one receiving the property. The grantor's signature. The grantee's signature is not required. The signature of two witnesses, plus the signature and appropriate seal of a notary public or other officer authorized to take acknowledgement or prove the identity of the grantor the person's name and address who prepared the document. Quit claim deed preparation. Now, some organizations sell quit claim deed forms. You fill out the form on paper, or you fill it out online and print the document. These services often offer the document at costs lower than hiring a professional. Are you 100% sure that you know how to complete the form properly? If you are, then these services might work for you. However, keep in mind this document is for you to transfer an asset that may be quite valuable. If the document is not properly completed or filed, the legal consequences and costs for errors could be astronomical. So that's why many people choose to consult an attorney or hire the attorney to complete the deed. Divorce and quit claim deeds. As we discussed, quit claim deeds are often used in divorce settlements. That is, a former spouse transfers the property to the other former spouse. Thus, the quit claim deed conveys all interest the ex-spouse had in the property to the other ex-spouse. Therefore, the act fulfills the judge's terms of the divorce settlement. Again, the spouse that is transferring the property signs the deed. The recipient spouse does not sign. Typically, the fee to record a quit claim deed in divorce settlements are less than the fees for transferring to a non-associated third party. What if the property has a mortgage? What if there is a mortgage recorded against the property? Can you still use a quit claim deed? Yes, you still can transfer a mortgage property using the quit claim deed. However, the mortgage is still attached to the property. That is, unless the lender agrees otherwise in writing, the one who transferred the property still bears the responsibility to pay the mortgage. If the mortgage has a due on sale clause like most mortgages do, the lender could order the immediate payoff of the entire mortgage. In our experience though, we rarely see the lender force the payoff of the mortgage, and that is especially the case when the grantee makes the payments on time. If needed, the grantee can refinance or get a new loan and pay off the existing mortgage. What about using a quit claim deed after death? Can you use a quit claim deed for a person after he or she is deceased? And the answer is no. If the title to a property is in a person's name and that person dies, the transfer generally requires a court order. If prior to death the title holder transferred the property to an instrument such as a living trust, the terms of the trust dictate the interest in the property. Suppose prior to death, the title holder legally executed a quit claim deed that was not yet recorded. The deed is typically valid. Someone does, however, need to record the deed. There is another option in some states that we will mention here, such as Florida, and we call this a ladybird deed. A ladybird deed holds the property in the name of the grantor during his or her lifetime. Then upon death, the title transfers to the designated grantees. Lady Bird deeds are currently only valid in five states, Florida, Michigan, Texas, Vermont, and West Virginia. How much does a quit claim deed cost? If you prepare the deed yourself, you need to cover the recording fees. If you have an attorney prepare it for you, the cost typically is in the hundreds of dollars. If you're not experienced in the preparation of quit claim deeds, hiring an attorney is certainly something to consider. The cost of making a mistake could be in the thousands, tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars in litigation expenses. So if you're not completely confident, hire an attorney to draft the deed on your behalf. Quit claim deed FAQs. 
How do quit claim deeds work? The quit claim deed conveys or transfers any interest one might have in a property from a grantor, the transferor, to the grantee, the recipient. It does not warrant that the grantor has a legal interest in the property. Unless the grantor holds valid title to the property, the grantee may wind up with nothing of value. First, one properly completes the quit claim deed, then the grantor or grantors execute, that is, sign the quit claim. The signature or signatures are notarized and or written. Then someone publicly records the deed in the recorder's office of the jurisdiction where the property is located. When do you use a quit claim deed? People most often use quit claim deeds to transfer real estate to family members, as we said, as part of a divorce decree or to convey title to one's own trust or LLC. What are the downsides or disadvantages of quit claim deeds? A disadvantage of the quit claim deed, as we stated, is that it does not give warranties to the buyer or property recipient that the grantor actually has clear title to the property. Perhaps the grantee does not have an interest in the property at all. That is why an unrelated third-party buyer should not allow the seller to transfer the property using a quit claim deed. Does a quit claim deed transfer ownership? A quit claim deed only transfers the real estate ownership if the person who executed the document actually has valid ownership of the property. That is, the value that the quit claim deed transfers is limited to the value the transferee had before executing the document. If there are title defaults, the recipient will inherit those same defaults. When you sell your house, can you use a quit claim deed? Yes, you can but the title insurance company will rarely insure such a transfer. That is why it is rarely used when a title company is involved. So if you didn't before, I hope you understand how to use a quit claim deed, what they're used for, and how they work. Please click like, subscribe, and share this video with others. See you next time. This is The Business Guy.